Hey Plotter Pals! I'm Stacy Anderson, sci-fi author and one of the trainers here at Plotter. Today, we're excited to show you a new update to the Plotter mobile app for your tablet and phone. This update brings more of the features you love from the desktop version to the mobile experience, especially with the outline, character, and notes sections. The interface is completely redesigned to make it identical for both phone and tablet, as well as warmer color tones to reduce eye strain. Finally, this update includes fixes to make it easier to create and save files with your favorite cloud storage providers. There's a lot to see in this new update, so let's dive in. Here in the outline section, we've made it easier to read the scene cards by creating a read mode, and when you tap on the pencil icon, it will bring you into an edit mode where you'll be able to change the title, description, or the plot line for any of your scene cards. You can also add additional scene cards by tapping the plus add another scene button. So here on the main plot line, I'll click the pencil icon to edit and add our new scene with the description. We can also filter our plot lines with the new filter button in the top right corner. So if I only want to view the main plot line. Now we will only see scenes associated with the main plot line. Or I can filter by both the main plot line and the wolf's plot line. And I can clear all filters. Finally, throughout the software, we've made it easier to change the colors with our new color picker, such as changing the color of a plot line. So if I want to change the wolf's plot line from green to a bright pink, and I can always change it back again. In the Characters section, you can now add, move, and edit custom categories for your characters. Using the Categories button in the top right, I can add an additional category for Antagonist. I can now add a new character, Father of the Wolf, and add him to the Antagonist category. We've also made it easier to add images on mobile. By clicking on the photograph icon and the plus button next to the images title, you can add images from your mobile device. So here I'll choose a picture of the wolf for the father of the wolf. We still have the same ability for custom attributes, as well as adding elements such as the books in which this appears or different tags. But with this update, we can now filter by these elements. Again, with the filter icon in the top right corner, I can choose to filter by a tag of considering. And now we see that brings up the father of the wolf or I can choose to only see my antagonists. Again, the father of the wolf. Or I can clear all filters. We've also added options for filtering in both the places and the notes section. So here in notes, I can choose a note associated with the wolf. And finally, we've also included attributes in the notes section of the mobile app. So in the top right corner, we can add new attributes that will appear on every note card, such as the major theme. Now, if we edit the note for the wolf, we'll see a place to add the theme and we can add danger. And when we save, it will show up as a section on the note card. 
This update includes many new features, improvements, and fixes, so be sure to check out the release notes to see everything that's changed. So what's your favorite new feature in this update? Be sure to let us know in the comments below and subscribe to the YouTube channel for all our latest videos, tutorials, and updates. Happy plotting!